Thank you for joining us again on this leg of the trip. We'll make our way from Arachidia to the Sahara Desert in Mazuga. Whilst cards are largely accepted, we would recommend you get more cash than you think you need because you will need it. After a couple of hours journey and a stop here and there, we arrived at our hotel in the desert. There's some cameras over there. There you go. Oh well, really? There's a pool over there and I cannot wait to go jump in that pool over there. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. We'll show you more later. Okay, people, it's happening. Uh, we couldn't we couldn't come all the way to the desert without driving any dunes. So we've got a local guide who will jump in the car with us, and we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna go and drive in the dunes, and it's very excited and nervous. I'm very nervous and excited. I think it's gonna be great. Uh, I'm gonna lighten the button a little bit, get this water. I've got like 20 liter here, 15 liter there. Get those off, get some things off the car. I'm sure it's gonna, it's gonna be fine anyway, but just to lighten the button a little bit. And uh, yeah, let's let's do this. I'm psyching myself up. This is my first time taking this off-road. So also tire pressure as well. We'll, we'll, we'll lessen the tire pressure too. With our guide sat next to me and Anna in the back recording, we all set off for the desert, initially driving through. These are on paved roads. Once we hit the dunes, my non-existent off-road skills began to show up. Thankfully, our native barber guide got us out of the tricky situations. I had gotten us stuck at the top of the dunes and whenever we tried to get out of it, the car slid further to the left as they to tip over. So I got out, gave the key to our guide and he expertly drove us out of it. Woo -woo 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 -woo. <laughs> hello, hello! <laughs> After a bit of celebrating and watching the sunset, we made our way to a Baba family nearby.
kind of a volcano. Even so, I don't think I've ever been happier to see a road. Going to air back up now, air compressor on, we'll plug this in here and then we do it. I have spent more of today, <coughs> excuse me, just um, relaxing in the hotel, just gathering, um, gathering, <laughs> just relaxing really because we've been moving back and forth uh, for the past uh, two weeks. So we needed a day to just chill and do pretty much nothing. So we've been mostly in the pool and in the shade area, eating and relaxing and going for, we went for a walk this morning before it became very hot and this evening again we've gone for another walk. It's been really nice to just actually feel like we are on holiday and uh, to relax. Um, Anna has been walking through the holiday, through the trip so far, but um, she's I'm not sure it's another day from today. So it's nice for both of us to just sit down and sort of be together and spend, spend quality time together. Uh, and uh, today is our last night here. Tomorrow we then move somewhere else, but uh, it has been an amazing experience spending, you know, two nights here and uh, chilling in that pool and just sort of overlooking the desert. It's um, it's incredible, definitely a nourishing experience for the both of us. What an experience yesterday was uh, in the dunes and uh, driving through the dunes and the desert, and I saw a lot of those. Uh, Land Cruiser Prado and they were doing an incredible job just going over it but they're, they're, very, they're quite light and everything and obviously we've got a lot of load in our Defender. It did really really well I mean honestly I, I was <laughs> I was scared a little bit in the dunes because you were driving and the car just kept sliding when you were on top of the dunes and uh, yeah so it took a bit of getting used to and once I got used to it it was just incredible um, I loved it I loved it and um, I would definitely do it again. And then once we left the dunes, then driving through the desert, and, and, I, and I drove, I drove, we both, we both enjoyed it. Next time we'll probably try to lighten the car a bit more, but uh, otherwise, great experience. Loved every single bit of it. Uh, I felt the car really ended its cape yesterday. Um, yeah, I mean, it was revving to like 3,000, 4,000 RPM in gear one to climb the dunes. And for me, that was scary thinking, why is it that loud? Because I've never done off-roading before. <laughs> and I was like, is the engine okay? <laughs> the guy was like, yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. This is perfectly normal. Everything is fine. It's just, it, it needs to be that high to climb the hill. Uh, yeah, I loved it. I came back this morning to just give it a check and expecting something to be broken. But no, these cars are incredible. They just, they do so much. Uh, you can put them through so much. 
and uh, we'll leave tomorrow so I've just come to check it out again to check the oils and water and everything and everything is fine so yeah I'm gonna put the water jerry cans actually back on the sides here uh, and then we should be set for tomorrow I'm trying to get as, get as much as possible done tonight so because when we leave tomorrow it's gonna be very hot so to make sure we can just jump in the car and then pretty much drive off yeah almost there this is a beef tashin with Moroccan salad. Right, we've enjoyed our stay here. It's been incredible. We've loved every second of it. Um, yeah, so it's time to head off now. We've uh, yeah, we've gotten ready, and I just got, and I want to get something, and then we'll start heading off to our next location, which I don't know, but Anna knows, and I'll tell you that later. We headed for the Atlas Mountains where we saw some of the most beautiful spots on this trip. Please do come back and see what we got up to.